So I have seen many Android fanboys criticizing the iPhone XS that it does not have anything new compared to the last year's iPhone X and it has a damn high price point. So in this video I am going to prove that the new iPhone XS is just fairly priced and there are none pricing issues related to it. What is up guys welcome to another video and you are watching CB Teching live here so without any further delay let's get this video started. So first of all let's make this thing really clear that this is the S year for the iPhones meaning that we were only expecting a spec bump but not any dramatic design change and if we look back from iPhone 4s it was the same as the iPhone 4 but with few improvements and Siri introduction. Then came the iPhone 5s after the iPhone 5 which was also the exact same from outside but with a new color, touch ID and updated internals. Well moving on to the iPhone 6s it was also the same as the last generation iPhone 6 but with new color, updated cameras and new internals. So looking from the past, in my opinion, this is the biggest S upgrade. So let's see what we have got with the iPhone XS. First of all, there is addition of a new gold color to the iPhone XS and majorly this is the only visual difference between this generation and the last generation iPhone X. But it really shines from inside as it comes with all new world's first 7 nanometer Apple A12 chip along with 4 gigs of RAM which is 1 GB more compared to its daddy iPhone 10. Moving on we will also get a bump up in the cameras, the sensor size has been increased, the low light performance is also now better and there is an all new image processing thing just like the Google Pixel 2. Moving on the iPhone XS now has improved dual stereo system from last year which will provide you an immersive sound experience, better water and dust proofing, a jump from IP67 to IP68, a bigger battery which will provide you 30 minutes of more life to your smartphone compared to the last year's iPhone 10. Talking about the Face ID, it is also improved now, meaning it has just got faster. Furthermore, this time with iPhone XS, Apple have also released dual SIM support which is also really amazing. The OLED displays have the best color accuracy on the iPhone XS compared to the other phones on the market and yes, it is just beautiful. So these are all the new things slash features which you are getting with the iPhone XS and now at last let's compare the prices of the last year's iPhone 10 and the newly launched iPhone XS. So last year the iPhone 10 started from $999 and this year the iPhone XS starts from $999 as well meaning that you are getting all these improvements and much much more but at the same price from last year. So in my opinion there is no way that we can criticize the price of the iPhone XS because we are getting more features and more improvements for the same price but now many of you will say that the bigger iPhone XS Max costs $1100 so listen bro it's just a new device added up in the lineup with larger display, larger battery and much more software exclusives. It was not there before so it is just an option for the people who like big display smartphone. It is your choice that either you choose that device or this 5.8 inch iPhone XS. No one is forcing you to pay more. But if you look on the Samsung's side, they literally released the same Note from 2017 in 2018 just changing the name from Note 8 to the Note 9. So it got better internals and the fingerprint sensor was also moved from side to just below the camera sensors on a comfortable position but along it the price also increased from nearly $920 to $999 but in the case of Apple it remained the same for the iPhone XS. So this was it from today's video guys if you people enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for future quality tech videos. Peace out.